This is part 2 of Black Panther vs. Deadpool. This issue opens in Azania, one of the countries bordering Wakanda. We see two obnoxious American big game hunters shoot and maim a zebra. As they approach the animal, they are interrupted by a one-armed Deadpool. Meanwhile, T'Challa is in his lab in Wakanda, experimenting on the star cells. He has discovered that, when the star cells interact with the cancerous tissue from Deadpool's arm, they freeze the degeneration of the tissue entirely. This means that the star cells can essentially stop death. The magnitude of this discovery bogs T'Challa down, and he leaves the lab so he can clear his head. In the meantime, Deadpool talks to the hunter's Azanian guide. The guide tells him that, in the absence of opportunities in this part of the world, many of the locals have taken to working for foreign tourists who come here to hunt wildlife. Deadpool transfers a sum of money in cryptocurrency to the guide and requests one of their jeeps. He needs it to get back to Wakanda for the vibranium since his teleporter hasn't been working ever since T'Challa hacked it. One of the hunters tries to stop him from making off with their transport and Deadpool cuts off his arm. He wants to fix the hunter's arm in place of his own that he lost the last time he faced the Black Panther. However, Deadpool sees that the zebra that was being hunted is still alive and suffering. He discards the man's arm and pulls his sword on the zebra, but we don't see what he does. In the Wakandan palace, T'Challa appears to be battling Captain America and the Avengers while simultaneously having a conversation with his mother. These aren't really the Avengers, though, only holograms with which T'Challa likes to train. As Deadpool makes his way into Wakanda on a secret smuggler's route, T'Challa practices various ways to defeat the Avengers if he were ever to face them. He asks his mother if she thinks he's the greatest of the Black Panthers. He has no heir, and neither does she. Shuri, so the line of rulers would end with him. He is contemplating using the star cells to turn himself immortal, but he fears that cheating death that way would be a terrible sin. Suddenly, all the alarms go off. Deadpool smashes through the palace walls and is back to face T'Challa again. He has attached the head of the zebra in place of his missing arm. T'Challa is enraged that Deadpool managed to sneak into Wakanda under the noses of his guards and immediately attacks him. Deadpool is better prepared this time around around, and T'Challa appears to be distracted by the task of getting his mother to safety. Deadpool grabs hold of him, only to discover that the Black Panther he was facing is merely a hologram. The real T'Challa attacks him from behind. As he's being beaten up, Deadpool tries once again to convince T'Challa that his motive for trying to acquire Vibranium is benevolent. T'Challa still refuses to believe him and pins him to the ground. T'Challa thoroughly defeats him. He offers to reattach Deadpool's arm if he leaves Wakanda forever, but Deadpool says that he isn't leaving without the vibranium he came for. Just then, Okoye contacts the king. She says that there's another situation. A few minutes earlier, a private plane attempted to enter Wakandan airspace, but before the Wakandans could make contact, the plane exploded. We see what happened in those fateful few moments. On the plane are the two hunters from before. They are trying to get to Deadpool to exact revenge. Suddenly, someone who has been hiding on the plane rolls a hand grenade shaped like a carved pumpkin towards the hunters, and it explodes. Some of you ardent Marvel fans might already have guessed who this is, Jack-O-Lantern. Considering the common threat, T'Challa makes peace with Deadpool, and we see him prepping to reattach the latter's arm. As Jack-O-Lantern descends on Wakanda, the two of them are going to have to work together to defeat him. And that's how part two of Black Panther vs. Deadpool ends. Join us next time for more battles and a whole lot more of Deadpool's shenanigans.